and he played pretty pretty well in that. Um, another person to mention just before they ready up, uh, Nadir is actually um, the person <coughs> the person in the team replacing Haunter, who um, had a little bit of a he kind of left because Heiss was getting kind of mad at him not doing enough damage. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish here. Um, this is the week five div division. Prem, uh, Premier Division, rather, uh, week five matchup between Deserto and TLR. I am Connor, and my co host is Sean Beasley. Would you like to take the mid, Sean? Or? I'd love to. Early on in the mid, we're seeing good aggression out of Hildreds getting nice stickies onto the team left side, but that rumor does jump in his face, and the deer is taking down pretty quickly. So, the height advantage here for Deserto is going to be very good for them. Their demo is getting nice stickies out, and they're able to clean everybody up as Rake and Evil Moon go down. And it looks like just Kyler for fun is alive right now, so we're going to see what he's going to try to do. He's waiting in lobby for everybody. They're all capping the point, but they have a big uber advantage, and they might just try to bring this in. And it looks like they're going to run right into him. He pops a shot off at them, and now they know he's there, but they're ready to move in with this uber into last. Yeah, that was well played from DeSoto there. They're actually just going to pop in completely. They get one pick onto Hiss, which is a very, very big pick, obviously. Getting a demo on this uh, on this last is going to be fantastic. Uh, but they really need to get some more, because they've just lost Shifty. They don't really seem to be doing anything. They lost their demo as well. They do get a Soldier and the Medic. Well done. Well, very well played from, from Zoob there, but it doesn't really seem like they're going to be able to walk into this last quite yet. Um, they're being really brave with both scouts here, but... I don't think it's really going to work for them. Uh, Kyla does get a pick onto just onto two people already. So Sheepy, Bull, and Furbo. That's three, three picks from uh, from Kyla there. Kyling people for fun, as his name suggests. <laughs> Kyling everybody for fun. He's giving you a lot of good frag video material because I think he probably heard you say that. And there's a soldier waiting for him in the lobby and takes him down with that black box. This is the first season that the black box is allowed in ETF2L. And personally, I hate the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like it either so far. It uh, gives health back to soldiers, and that's just not good, in my opinion. They should die all the time to scouts. That's right. They should just be dead all the time. Now we're going to see... Uh, TLR is going to try and aggress the choke a little bit. They're building pretty close up, so they might want to just use this, but there is no uber advantage, so both teams are going to have to work a pick here. And it looks like they're both uh, pretty happy just sitting back and getting these ubers before they try to work picks. Um... There's not really much action going on on the flank, so yeah, both teams are equal yeah. completely in every way, shape, and form, really. Um, Absolutely. Doesn't really look like anyone really wants to mis make a mistake. They're all really far back from both teams. They are pushing through the uh, the IT right now, uh, Deserto, that is. They're walking through. They haven't actually been popped at all. They have someone above them that could drop down and pop them, but it doesn't seem like they really have realized. Now they've realized and they just dropped Hildreth completely. Well, um, unfortunate there. Well played from Nadir to pick off Hildreth in the first place, but that was just a big drop, I think, from Bull. That's a shame. But Evil Moon does actually have a full uber advantage now, uh, and if they pick off the right people now, and it, even if they didn't pick off the right people, they'd be absolutely fine to just get the mid and the second now. Uh, they've actually picked four people from Deserto now. Um, not the Medic. The Medic did get away with Sheepy on second, but they're just going to be able to roll into this because they still haven't had to pop the uber, Sean. Right. Um, that was a classic example of, you know, just trying to push into an Uber. And it doesn't really work, especially when you drop your demo. You always want to have a pick to move on and some sort of advantage to make the other team back up. And that just didn't happen. So Kyler's going to come in there, get onto the point, get some cap time up there as the Uber is forced. And um, they're going to cap this point pretty simply. They've got two picks. They're going to try and move in with the remainder of this Uber. And they're getting some damage, but it's not going to be enough to get in there and actually hold this spot. The spawns are coming up in two seconds, no demo. It looks like they're going to try this as Hiss gets some nice stickies out of the point. And there's a lot of damage being eaten up by TLR in the lobby. All of them are playing very, very close together. But they don't realize, or they do realize, that uh, Deserto actually has their Uber and they want to push because TLR just messed up and they have to be punished for this. Deserto is looking to move in through the valley section of that second point as they are forced by Kyler for fun, who gets some nice meat shots onto the demo man, Hildreth. And uh, this point's going to go back in favor of um, Deserto. Yeah, but during that, Evil Moon actually didn't get uh, bombed on at all. He was completely fine the whole time, which means now he's going to be able to pop in with the Nuba. And the the scout's been denied a bit, but he's doing a lot of damage onto, onto whoever the soldier is. And Zoop's going to go down to Kyler with no problem. Kyler's going to get... Uh, a lot of good damage onto his scout as well. He's getting forced out a little bit, but the rest of his team's just going to roll in. And the only three people that are on last are quite low. There's only one person that's alright health, and 
if they all shoot the right people now and, and focus targets properly, they're going to win it. Uh, they did actually lose Rake there. They get one soldier um, in return, but that's really not a good trade, I don't think. Not on a last when you're trying to cap it. And then they lose their demo and their pocket and their medic now. The medic does get sheepy, but yeah, they kind of beefed it. That's right. See, when you push into this last, it's a very, very difficult last to push. And, uh, you know, a num one pick isn't going to do it. You have to have about two picks and an uber to push in there. And then once you do, you really have to focus that uh, cap time. And they just didn't do that with that heavy coming in late. Uh, their demo man, Hiss, did have some stickies on the point, but they just didn't play that. And um, they were able to let the Serto spawn up and push back onto two. So we have pretty much a leapfrog going on. And you love to see these and you hate to see these at the same time because this leads to some roamer plays as uh, Deserto Shifty is actually looking to get into that sewer and see what he can do. Maybe not too much. A Zub actually, not Shifty. I'm sorry about that. Uh, again, they're just building Uber. Neither team is really trying to be too crazy and force these Ubers out of each other or go for a big bomb and make a pick, something to push on. But um, that's okay because you know, this game, whoever pops, you know, a split second before, that's a big advantage already. And um, uh, They're going to let TLR get the Uber now, but uh, Rake is actually playing Sniper, so TLR weren't going to really be aggressive with that and try and pop their Uber anyway. Um, DeSoto had the Uber for about 30% 30, 30 before them. They could have probably pushed in, especially if they knew that uh, Rake was on Sniper for that uh, amount of time. He's actually not anymore, but if they knew, they could have easily exploited that and walked in. Um, they're actually fighting Calho at the moment in the... Uh, in the sewer area and Kylo comes to help him and kills kills Zoob. That means there's one soldier down and it's the pocket as well. Um, not very good for them. The Ubers are exchanged and they sort of have a slight advantage uh, that way but it doesn't really seem like they're going to be able to do anything. They do get one pick onto Kylo, uh, trapping him in the sewer area but again they're not really going to be able to follow up on that it seems because uh, Kalho does get a pick on the flank again to just even it out um, and Kalho's going to spawn before him obviously. Uh, they have equal Ubers again obviously because they just popped off each other um, and they're just being really defensive and, and deserto but they're actually getting bombed now by TLR. His jumps in, gets some really good damage I think onto them uh, but he's getting really really damaged himself. He's going to have to be really defensive and spam some over. Kalho's jumping with like 40 HP or 50 HP. He's doing some really good damage. He's not really going to be able to follow it up but that means he's going to secure the second point for his team which is really well played from him. That's right. Nadir came in with a nice bomb as the rest of his team knew that they had good damage out there and just capitalized off of that, but Nadir was not able to get that um, medic pick onto Bool. But that's okay, because they have Uber. Both teams have Uber as the push comes in. Without a pick, they lose Kyler for fun very, very, very early as the Ubers are exchanged for both teams, and now they're going to have to get out of there unless they want to lose their medic again. Both medics have died a lot, just leapfrogging this last point. And uh, it looks like they're not going to want to do that again as they spawn Kyler for fun on heavy. Let's see what he can do with that unbelievable tracking. And uh, Deserto's getting some nice damage. They might want to push out on this, but they're not going to do that. They haven't, uh, they haven't done any crazy stuff. They're not going to do that yet. And we're just going to settle for another stalemate. But we have that heavy on Kyler for fun, that off-class camera. We're going to see them probably send him in a little bit late and just wreak havoc all over the unsuspecting Nancys who have a sniper on Deserto. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I mean, the heavy could be completely neutralized by sheepy sniping, but as long as the uh, as long as Kyle is smart about it, doesn't walk into some stupid sight lines, he should be absolutely fine here. Not only that, but he a heavy is really good for pushing this last, and it's also really, really, really good for defending the uh, second point. So this is a really good idea from Kyler. Um, they're gonna try and just push in, I think, and and. Uh, recycle the Ubers a little bit. They're going to walk Kyler in. Um, he's going to save him. They're going to be walking onto point. I don't really know uh, about that choice. I mean, Hiss is in the right side at the moment. He's just trying to do, do a little bit of damage. He's not really got that much room to go in, nor does anyone else. I guess they just wanted the equation because now the heavy is much, much more uh, effective. Kalho jumps in, does quite a lot of damage onto the medic. Uh, um, not that much, to be fair. He, he did get away fine, and it's just going to be another stalemate, it seems. However, Kyler is still a heavy, so that means DeSoto aren't really going to be able to push out to the second without great difficulty, to be honest. So, Right. When you said that uh, they might just be you know, getting those Ubers out of the equation, that actually would not have been a very bad idea there. Popping in on the, the heavy, the slow, fat, revved up heavy is an interesting strategy, but you know, if you clean that up the right way, you'll get some magic to happen as uh, Zub overextends into the lobby and is taken down and Nadir goes in to force the Uber and it is forced by Nadir very nicely played as TLR 
may want to just back up and wait for their spawns. They do still have this heavy, so if the Cerdo tries to push out, they are going to be stomped by him. That Uber is 100%, and we're going to see DeSerto build, 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 because they know that oh, mere seconds before TLR come in with that big, big Russian aggression and that invulnerability. So it looks like TLR are setting up to get into that as Hiss comes in, gets some stickies on the sniper. He is a pick. The bomb comes in, and the Uber is popped. But DeSerto has a heavy of their own, and he is sitting up top, raining down some meat shots onto the crowd. As the rest of the team, it looks like Kyler for Fun's heavy is just way too much, and it is going to be 1-0 in favor of the last resort. I want to give some credit to Calho there, because he actually got three kills, as far as I could see. Uh, did some really big work. I guess Kyler was uh, what they were focusing a little bit at the time, so Calho uh, was just able to jump in without them really focusing him, but well played from him anyway. Um, that was a good idea f from them to to force to get in like get the Ubers out of the equation, keep that heavy just so that they could defend the second, and then and then redo it when they had an Uber advantage when they went uh, when they went to pop them. Um, well played from them. That's a round two TLR, so it's one nil so far. On this mid, actually, I'm gonna watch um, I'm gonna watch Heist for the most of it. He's on the left. He's gonna get taken down completely by a bomb and two scouts just focusing on completely. It looks like TLR are gonna have to pull out of this one because they're just not really in a good position. I say that while like three people more go down, so that's four people down for them. They did keep their medic, but he's running away in lobby. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. He's on last uh, with Kyler at the moment. He's gonna get the Uber, but they're not gonna be able to, to block the second point with this because there's no one up at all. Yeah, uh, you know, I just realized that Shifty has been using this black box almost the entire game, and uh, there hasn't really been many roamer bombs or plays coming in, but they have that uh, even uber footing, but they have a much better position on their red counterparts. So they're going to try and walk in, and it looks like they are getting in uncontested as that uber is popped by DeSerto. The uber is also popped by Evil Moon, and now they are fighting it out on the point, trying to get out of there. DeSerto needs to leave this fight before their entire team dies. They have their demo man Hildrish and their soldier sitting up top, but they're able to get a nice frag out of that black box soldier because he just always has help, and they clean up TLR. A lot of that was uh, there. a lot of that from my perspective was that they just let them get a lot of position on that last. They walked into the last uh, Deserto did, and they just got up top, and no one was really doing anything about it, like at all, the whole time. I understand, like if if they failed to to out DM the people there, they would have lost because they would have been trapped into the last. But they just didn't. They just out DM them, and they had a better position at the end, and that's what won them the point, I think. Right. Both teams are seeming to opt for this DM heavy playstyle. As we see Hildrist once again playing on the floor here, not trying to get much aggression out as Evil Moon and their demo are backed out into super. The positioning is about even for both teams. They're both playing by their sewers, but the soldiers for DeSerto are starting to get some high ground, and the scouts are able to come in and clean stuff up for that. The deer goes down pretty late in the fight, finally, and now both soldiers are lost, so we're going to have to see TLR back out of this mid fight before they lose everybody in everything goes to hell. I think Evil it was the Moon same is able thing. to get that Uber though. Yeah. I just watched Tildrift the whole t the whole mid and he got like damaged a tiny tiny amount throughout the whole mid. He had no one on him. He just had completely free reign to left click right click and open up room for his team and I don't know they need to get forward to get a little bit more position, you know, a bit more pressure. The, the Uber actually comes out from TLR which is not going to be good for them. However, they sort of do counter pop it. They're not really going to chase it seems like Hildrift sort of wants to but he's not really in a position to. They do get the second point. I don't think that was really worth it. I don't think DeSoto actually needed to pop that at all because they'd already popped the Uber from from Evil Moon and Evil Moon was pulling out. And they already had everyone positioned around the second point. They didn't really need to pop there. They didn't need to pop there, but it's always nice to keep everybody alive and uh, stop any chance of a push out because, um, you know, if they had dropped those players, we could have seen Shifty come out with that black box and uh, try to force it. Or not Shifty, uh, Nadir, try to force that Uber. So... You know, you got to do what you got to do, and situations are tough sometimes, but you're right, 100% that Uber was uh, not necessary. And now TLR has the Uber advantage, and they know that they have a small advantage and have to get out there if they want to do anything with this. So it looks like they're going to opt to take their demo out the roll outside, but they're taking some spam, so they might not do this. They have a pick, and that spawn is coming up right now, Furbo, and he opts to come sniper as the Uber is popped by Evil Moon and exchanged by both teams, and they're fighting it out on the point. So as Evil Moon and the rest of his TLR players have to back out. We're seeing some aggression come out of DeSerto, and they do have that sniper now. And nobody knows that it's coming. So we're going to see it.
Yeah, yeah, Furbo's in the in the lobby at the moment. He's just looking through, through to the left side. He doesn't really have any sight lines onto anyone at the moment, but the medic is... Oh, he almost got the medic. Oh, he might get him. Yes, he's going to get him. He body, full, yeah, fully charged body shots, Evil Moon. Kyle goes down as well. <laughs> so does Kylo. That's three people that... Oh, Kyla did before, but they do have Evil Moon, Rake, Kalho and Nadir down. They're just going to roll into this last no problems whatsoever, because they have a medic, they have a demo. They have a sniper that's just killed the medic, and yeah, they're going to be fine. I'm really mad that that worked, actually, because yeah. uh, Furbo's sniper time there was a little a little questionable, to say the least. But um, he was able to get his shots, and the rest of his team capitalized. Yeah, I'm going to be watching on this mid. We're going to see Hiss. We're going to see what he does. He likes to push up that left side, and he gets that health pack before any Roamer play is able to come out. Shifty is not doing anything. The scouts take good damage. The soldiers take good damage. Hiss is in just a perfect spot to get damage out as Calho cleans up, comes in, and focuses everybody out, and DeSerto was not even able to get into that. Very well played by his Perfect stickies to just trap them out, and um, they're just cleaning up everybody now, because DeSerto is not able to get out. Right, this oh. Uber is going to be taken all the way into last. Bull is taken out by his again, and he is just winning this round single-handedly, killing the entire team before he eats a sticky from Hildred. There are four players down for DeSerto and a full Uber with Evil Moon. So they're going to walk right in there, probably not have to pop this. They are forced, and the cap time is not coming. The spawns are going to be able to come up for DeSerto now with their stickies on the point. TLR is going to have to back out of this or get quick cap time, and quick cap time looks like it's exactly what's happening. But uh, DeSerto is able to just stand on that and bully, uh, bully him out. Wow. At this point, TLR is just sacrificing everybody to try and get this point and uh, are probably going to lose two off of that. Yeah, that was that went from so good to so bad so quickly. Like the, on the mid, it was really well played from Heist, but I, I think one of the biggest reasons that worked is because for the first mid of all of the mids, Nadir actually went really far forward and just picked off uh, Hildrift really quickly. He actually had some pressure on him that time, so the damage from Hildrift just wasn't coming out. So I think that's what uh, won that mid half the, uh, most of the time. Um, most of that mid, rather. Um, Kalif Fun actually just gets a headshot onto Furbo. Zub actually went down to Nadir as well, which means there's two down for Deserto, and Evil Moon has a big advantage, 86% uh, uber advantage at the moment. As long as he doesn't get bombed by anyone now. He's actually getting bombed by Hildreth. Uh I don't think he's going to be... Yeah, he's not going to get anything. His uh, just pipes him down after a, a lot of damage from uh, from Kalho the Heavy. They're just going to walk into last, and if they don't... If they actually get some cap time this time, I think it should be uh, their round, honestly. <laughs> Shifty actually was just trying to make a nice play on the Evil Moon. He had some good positioning there, but that heavy kind of shot him right at the medic, and it was a little sticky situation there. They were able to clean him up before he was able to do anything important. And uh, now, once again, we see TLR pushing in with this Uber advantage. It's about 30%. They know they have to get that medic before he is able to Uber in this fight, and they are just not getting enough aggression on him. As he jumps down, looks for an Uber, so does not get it. Has 80%, but everybody, TLR, has just gone down at once because they were all taking the same damage. And again, we see... Um, the Uber shift here, and uh, Deserto is just going to push right back out and cap two again. Neither team seems to know how to push last very effectively on this mid, on this map, rather, and uh, it's starting to hurt the timer as 20 minutes just about have gone down in this match. We're at 11 minutes and 45 seconds remaining, so we're going to see the clock come into play soon in this 2-1 game. Indeed, uh, that was kind of painful again to watch. Rick gets a nice headshot onto Furbo, but mid out but evil moon really wants to push into the mid he's going to walk in with a sniper and a scout just the scout it seems the soldier just turn up eventually and they're going to walk into this mid and, and recap it with no problems doesn't look like he wants to pop the uber and he shouldn't actually have to as long as his team uh plays this properly um and hopefully they'll get forward as, as quick as they possibly can and get onto that medic before this 30 percent uh advantage goes away right both teams have a sniper now and um we're going to see Rake try his hardest to get this medic before all hell breaks loose, and the Ubers pop for TLR. They are pushing into lap. They aren't able to get Bull, as he now has a full Uber advantage over them, but they're going to try and get into this last point and get picks as they take down the demo. Very nicely done. And now the Uber is not going to mean as much for uh, DeSerto now, but they're able to get the frags that they need. Rake is still in there sniping for some crazy reason i don't know man i feel like sniping here isn't that important like he, they, they maybe needed a medic pick but they could have got it if they had just had two scouts because he had an advantage anyway 
at this point, if I was him, well, no, I'm lying. If I was him, I'd stay sniper because I'm an idiot. But if uh, if I was if he was uh, if I was him and I was smarter, then I would probably go scout right now. Just go back because even if he gets a pick, like he's just not in a position to push afterwards. He's, he's putting his team at a little bit of a disadvantage, I think. Yeah, he is. Um, you know, he had a really good chance to to make a huge play happen, and it didn't have and didn't you know he just didn't hit the shot, and that happens. That's not his fault. You know, everybody misses True. shots every now and again, but him staying on Sniper or staying in that fight without dying kind of hurt his team as they would have been able to use his spawn. And uh, he's still up on Sniper, and they do have another Uber advantage, but they can't really do too much with it as the Uber is popped by Evil Moon a little bit early, and the Uber is also exchanged by Bull, who gets that a little bit later. And like I said, if they didn't have that Sniper right now, this might be a totally different ballgame. And yeah, uh, Rake so. is going to have to back out again. He's going to stay alive as well. I mean... The only way this would be even worth it is if he gets a medic pick or a demo pick or something while they're pushing out. And fair play to him if he does, but I don't know. I, I just feel like walking back uh, after after taking this shot is a good idea and just asking someone to keep the door open and just switching class. Because he wasn't playing bad on scout. He, he could just go back to scout and it'd be much better, I think. But I guess he just wants to stay on sniper. Maybe he's just not having a good scout day or he doesn't feel like he is. They actually just get an idea. Um, Nadir goes down on the flank to, to Sheepy there. He's getting pushed, Rake, uh, by the demo man who's jumping in. He gets a, a nice body shot onto him to just deny him a little bit, but he is going to go down. Oh, he gets a really nice headshot actually onto whoever the soldier was. Um, but doesn't really do anything because he goes down eventually. Uh, TLR is yeah. going to be pulling out on this choke. Um, they're going to be fine. They're going to actually have a slight uber disadvantage, but not very much. Not where it will actually matter. But um, yeah, it's just going to be another stalemate. Let's hope Rake goes scout. Yeah, it looks like his team has yelled at him enough and he has gone back to scout. The Uber is popped at essentially the same time. There is a slight advantage, but the blue side is flashing. At the same time, they're losing all of their players around them, so it's a much better Uber for TLR, and they're going to walk into this midpoint and try and kill everybody they can as they cap it. And we're going to see, again, a leapfrog and uh, right back to TLR pushing last. We've seen them try to do this quite a few times. Hildreth actually goes down right there to Rake, so good good on him playing uh, Scout. As we do have some people in the forward spawn who are just looking to uh, back spawn there, and they do. And um, the spawns are going to be coming up for Deserta. So we're going to see a 6v6 fight. Ubers are out of the game here. And um, this yeah. push is happening right now. They're going to walk into they this last care. again. Let's hope this time that they uh, they focus the right things. They actually do. They get Bull really, really quickly, and some, and they get Zub as well. Um, they're shooting the, the same people. They're focusing properly, it seems, and they're probably going to get... Yeah, they're going to get this. Fantastic. Nicely done. Much, much better than the last time. It seems like they've slightly learnt their lessons. Let's hope. Uh, Rakes is on scout, and they just focus, fire a little bit better next time, and, and get on the point just like they did just then. So that would be 2-2 two, two, uh, so far in this game. All right, 2-2. Two, two. We've got an even game on an even map. And Hiss has actually messed up his rollout, so we're going to see what he does to try and counter that. No bombs coming out from either side soldiers yet again, which is uh, interesting with that black box. So I'm going to get my eyes onto Calho, who gets up there and gets some nice height advantage onto the uh, those crate. And that's exactly what you need to do as a soldier on this. The rest of his team is falling down around him, though, because it doesn't seem that they're focusing the same targets. And they're able to just be cleaned up by Deserto, who's actually in a really bad spot on that mid-fight. But... Positioning doesn't matter when you're this good, and they win the mid-fight uh, pretty decisively. Kyle is actually stuck behind at the moment. Um, unfortunate, he was doing really well on that mid, but then uh, he got rushed by two scouts, uh, um, a medic and I think a soldier as well was, was coming his way. Um, and he just wasn't really able to do anything. He's going to go for a soldier now. He got some really good damage onto him, but he's going to go down eventually, of course. Way of... TLR. Uh, and if they do the same that they did last round at the end of it, there should be... Um, and to win another round. See, I'm sitting here right now by the skin of my teeth because I've seen TLR push all the way to last and look beautiful doing it. Rick and then just screw up. Oh, Sheepy oh. snapping. Oh, demo down. Fantastic. He gets the demo. Very nice shot by Sheepy. And that's going to stop the uh, the relentless onslaught of TLR because now they can't really push as Rick also goes down. And now that is two picks in favor of Deserto. Three as Nadir goes down to some nice stickies by Hildreth and... Uh, Bull knows what's up. He knows he wants to get in through that choke and just pop this Uber, run away as the Uber is forced for TLR. And uh, Kyler for fun is able to get Furbo. He's able to get Shifty. That's some nice picks. Those spawns are going to come up late for Deserto. And uh, the momentum has shifted again as Kyler for fun is all over the place. 
as I'm trying to talk, he's trying to make me stumble over my word, and he's just going in for a flank. He goes down behind him, though, so the push is uh, probably not going to happen. And yeah. there's no cap. They weren't able to cap two. Pretty uh, shaky play there. They should have been able to get two off of that. But um, we're going to see Deserto come in there with their Uber. They know that uh, TLR does not have it, so they need to focus this medic and get him out of the equation early as they also focus fire. There's a scout behind them. Rake goes down. He's able to distract them for a little bit, but his team is still going to have to run away. Yeah, that was well played uh, from TLR, I think, for, for getting out in the first place. Evil Moon is actually down. He was just down to 29 HP. He's only he's going up now. He's going to be all right as long as no one bombs him. Like, at this moment, he should be absolutely fine. And he's actually going to get the Uber now, which again puts the ball back in their court. They could push the mid with this quite easily. Um, Nadir's just spawning, though, so that means their Roma is down. Uh, that might be a little bit shaky for them, but they're going to try and push into the mid anyway. Um, but the, if they don't get on the medic really, really, really soon, then they're just gonna yeah they're getting forced already, and their and bull is actually on 95%. So if they don't get on them right now, which it seems like they're trying to, but he just gets the Uber just in time and pops it in. So now TLR are gonna have to get on the back foot again and pull out, and it doesn't really seem like they're doing that at all. They're gonna lose two people already, which is including their medic and his Hiss goes comes big. in with a nice and bomb. Coming. He jumps into the choke and just takes out everybody there. Very nicely done by him. He saw the aggression, and he did it, and he killed everything. And now TLR is going to cap this mid, and the spawns are not up yet for Deserto, so we'll see. Will they get forward? Will they get forward? They do not get the forward spawns, and uh, TLR is probably very happy about that, Connor. Indeed. Uh, that was well played from both Calho and Hi uh, his, Hi his probably... Jesus Christ, I'm saying his name like tw two different ways like all the time. Um, he probably called like... Uh, it was pretty much all or nothing at that point. They lo they already lost the medic because they were so aggressive. So it was either they get, they get those people there or they're going to lose uh, probably a last point, uh, to be honest. But yeah, well played from him. He got in, he jumped in, got two picks, got some good damage. Uh, Calho got two picks as well. Really well played, which means they're going to be 47% up uh, in Ubers. So if they push this properly and they get the hell forward and onto the medic and cap the point, uh, they should get this spy with ease really they're gonna actually get popped there uh because evil moon went down to like 60 hp nadir does get a pick um onto zub which means that both hildreth and zub are down the, the two main damage dealers for this team really um and they're just gonna roll into the last they don't really have that much pressure on them solely spamming but it's not really a lot they're just gonna be able to cap the point no problem yeah it's uh hard to defend last when you lose two players like that with a 15 second spawn timer. So TLR was able to just push in and it's now 3-2 in favor of TLR with one minute and 30 seconds left. So we're gonna see Deserto here on this mid try their hearts out. We're gonna get our eyes on Shifty, see what he does. They need to cap this last point. In about a minute and 20 seconds, it is possible, but this match has been very slow. Shifty gets up onto the red crate. Again, the height advantage from the soldiers from both teams, but there's really not much aggression. The demo Hildris comes in and is able to take out Rake and Hiss as they are just eating up the spam, and it is going very, very, very nicely for Deserto as uh, they have some of their players on the second point. It looks like as mid is capped, they're going to get cap time on that, and they know they have Uber, but both teams have Uber, so it's going to be a little bit tough for them to get in. They still have that spawn coming in a little late on Nadir as uh, Rake comes up on Pyro, and Kyler for fun comes up on heavy, and the Ubers are exchanged from both teams. We're going to see Deserto really, really try, as there is 40 seconds remaining in this round. Uh, Indeed. It ice. looks like they're not really going to be able to, though. Rake is on a pyro, and he's completely full HP. He's been really aggressive, though. If he, if he doesn't play this right, he could even lose this last. I mean, they still have a heavy, like, but... I mean, a pyro and a heavy makes it pretty much impossible for them to push, but Rake is actually going scout now. I guess he, he he's more confident on it to do damage. Um... They're going to have to push in soon, and they have people pushing in through the right side onto the last at the moment. Rake's actually really, really damaged. Um, he's going to have to pull back, but he's not going to go down or anything. They do actually have a pocket soldier down, but having a heavy alive is going to be fine. But both the heavy and the medic for TLR are oh my really God, weak, up. and they go down. Five seconds! Is this going to be blocked by hit? No, it's not. And it's going to be cut! Gonna... Oh, oh with three seconds remaining, we get the tie. <laughs> so, is it, that's a goal again. That's how it is, happens, isn't it? He's actually got a pipe there and killed two people with the pipe as well. Like right, right at the last second. So if he got that like a second beforehand, he would he would have blocked it. Like that would have blocked the point. Oh god. Well played to him. I'm lucky that it was so uh, so close. Uh, it's going to be good though, which means there's going to be a golden cap, and that's always fun. So, so uh, yeah. Go over the rules of a golden cap with me here. Really well. Quick. 
basically, uh, the, so that we don't have draws in maps, um, because we can have draws in matches, we have it so that um, it starts and whoever gets around, I think it's 10 minutes, uh, whoever gets around uh, within that time uh, is the winner. However, if no one gets around, uh, it's whoever's got the midpoint. So if they sat on the midpoint and kept the midpoint for 10 minutes, then they would win. Whichever well, with team. the way this game has been going, uh, something tells happen. me that is a very big possibility as both teams have readied up for this golden cap. You want to take it, Connor? I can indeed. I'm going to watch Heist on this mid, see what he's going to do. He's going to be uh, fairly fast to mid, pretty much the same as Hildreth. He's going to get a sticky from Hildreth, but he's going to just take the health pack, no problem. Um, he's doing some good damage onto a scout on left, but he's getting bombed by a soldier from top. That soldier's just denying him really, really well. I, I'm going to assume that's uh, Zub, because Zub's using the normal one. Shifty's actually getting really def uh, defensive now. He's going to bomb forward, and it looks like Deserto are just going to wipe the mid, basically, because they just had better positioning. The soldiers just pushed out the demo, and then I guess Hildreth just had a way more, way, way, way more room to do whatever he wanted. That... That is exactly what happened. I'm really, really, really hoping to myself that Sheepy does not come up heavy. But that is a possibility because heavy is a great pushing class. Heavy is, uh, he's it's good at everything. Sheepy actually comes up on Pyro as they cap the second point, and um, that's going to be interesting. Pyro is uh, not what I would have expected. As Rake comes up on Sniper, we're not going to see any um, real turtling classes out from... Either team really. Sheepy was just waiting for forward spawn on the pyro. He's uh, on sniper now, so we're really see him try to get a pick. Yeah. Uh, he's going. He's just going to like peek in the lobby. He's going to be quite aggressive. He's got a soldier and a scout with him, but there isn't really a sight line here. He could take unless he gets the. D yes, he gets the demo. Of course, of course. Good idea. Stand still. That would be. That'll work. <laughs> like there's lots of good ideas coming out of um, TLR right now. They actually when uh, Hiss went down, they had a spy. Rake was up on spy, so he switched up. And he is buffed up to full 185 as the Uber is popped from both teams. Slightly better Uber coming out of Bull's uh, damn sexy metagun. And they're going to get some nice frags onto TLR. And this is not looking good for TLR. This might be the quickest golden cap in all history as uh, Rake tries to stop that point and is not able to. G -G. And the map goes towards Deserto. It is 4-3 in favor of Deserto. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun to watch. Was wrong. Damn. I was wrong. My prediction was um, four three in favor <laughs> of Deserto with the golden cap. And uh, like I said, I'm very so rarely wrong. I'm v I'm rarely wrong with my predictions. But um, maybe next time, you know, maybe next time will be the first time where I am not correct. Maybe, maybe. But I doubt it with your uh, with your <laughs> track record.